OK. So for the next one, I have f times g of x. So in doing f times g of x, what we're simply going to do is do f of x times g of x. Well, therefore, again, by applying in parentheses, we have x plus 5 times x minus 4. Now, ladies and gentlemen, there's multiple different ways you guys could do this. You could just do the FOIL method. You could do the box method. You could do the FOIL face, whatever else you, know, you guys really want to work on with this. For this one, I think it's always easiest, guys, if you have trouble, just to kind of go back and do the box. It's my preferred method of multiplying to keep things organized. Then what we simply do is just now we label them with the box. And now what I do is I go ahead and find the area of each box. x times x is x squared. x times negative 4, negative 4x. x times 5 is 5x. 5 times negative 4, negative 20. We notice now that our diagonal, those two combine because they're like terms. So 5x minus 4x is just x. So therefore, my final answer is going to be x squared plus x minus 20. OK, you can go ahead and grade that and see how you did. Then the last one.